and welcome back to Anton's class. Today's topic has to do with diet and lifestyle. Today I'd like to discuss the so-called ancestral diets. What were the diets of our ancestors? Um, was the ancestral diet the optimal human diet? Was it primarily a plant-based diet? Was it primarily meat-based or was it somewhere in between the two? Go ahead and comment your ancestry below if you like and what diet you believe your ancestors ate. So what is the ancestral diet? Well, to answer that question, we must check in with our archaeologist friends and find out. I have a bachelor's in anthropology and archaeology sort of fits under that umbrella. And in many of my classes at university, we looked at the diets of ancestral populations around the world. And archaeologists are able to do this by looking at things like middens, which are basically ancient prehistoric trash heaps where our, our ancestors would discard their refuse, their food scraps and such. Um, archaeologists also do chemical analysis of ancient bones and look at the enamel on teeth and look at discarded bones and plant resins and residues and pots and ceramics and things of that nature. And that's how they're able to find out what our ancestors were eating. If they're lucky, they can also look at fossilized human feces. And sometimes they find mummies and they're able to look in the contents of their digestive tract. So let's go ahead and start in North America. What were the ancestors of today's modern Native Americans eating back in prehistoric times? Well, we know that the ancestors of Native Americans came to the Americas over the Bering Land Bridge following megafauna. And one of the animals that they followed and enjoyed hunting were mammoths. And the mammoths, we know that they hunted mammoths because the mammoth skeletal remains often have cut marks and scrape marks that are clear indications that the humans were hunting mammoth and eating them. They were so successful at hunting mammoth that mammoths went extinct in the Americas. That is one of the theories for their extinction. It was due to humans over hunting them. So we do know ancient populations in the Americas at least were indeed consuming mammoth and lots of meat. So I guess that concludes it. Our ancestors were definitely meat-based hunters. Well, not so fast. Let's see what else archaeologists have been able to discover about our ancient ancestors around the world. So, we know that humans began experimenting with domestication of plant species some 10,000 years ago. That would include grains. Uh-oh, paleo diet advocates. They are often very much against grains. They say that our ancestors did not consume grains, but they did. Um, they also know that our ancestors consumed lots of other species of plants. Let's go now to Africa. In a cave in Mozambique, a team of researchers from the University of Eduardo Milande have uncovered evidence that Africans were consuming important crops like sorghum, African false banana, pigeon peas, wild oranges, African wild palm, and various tubers, such as the African potato. So evidently, our ancestors were also relying heavily on plants, including grains, for dietary purposes. Now let's go to Europe. What were the ancient Europeans eating? Well, we know that Europe's farther from the equator. It's much colder. There's less, less annual sunshine, so less availability of plants year-round. Well, one way to find out what they were eating is through Otzi the Iceman. He is a natural mummy that they discovered in 1991 in the Alps. If you haven't heard of him, they were able to discover what he was eating because the remnants of his last meals were still in his digestive tract. Apparently, Otzi was eating whole grains and red meat. Yep, that's right, whole grains again and red meat. He had a pretty high fat diet with lots of dairy products and things like deer and elk and wild goat. Another interesting fact is that Otzi suffered from atherosclerosis. That's right. The high fat diet he was consuming actually caused several of his arteries to be clogged. So he had atherosclerotic plaque, 
buildup in his arteries. Again, it was caused by his high fat diet from consuming a lot of the wild animals and the dairy products he was eating. Were ancestral diets optimal for human health? Well, based on Otzi, we know they had atherosclerotic plaque, so perhaps they were not the optimal diet for human beings. As a matter of fact, an analysis of 137 mummies from around the world, including hunter-gatherers, foragers, farmers, etc., revealed that several of our ancestors suffered from arterial plaque buildup. So it wasn't only an Otzi. They've discovered through looking at other mummies that our ancient human ancestors often suffered from atherosclerosis. However, it is important to note that hypertension, heart disease, obesity, and cancer were far less common among our ancestors. So, perhaps they were doing something right. Maybe Otzi and the others who had atherosclerosis were eating a little bit too much high-fat animal products in their diet. So, let's look at some contemporary populations around the world that still hold fast to a more traditional diet and lifestyle and see if we can draw some more conclusions about the optimal human diet. Um, let's go to the South Pacific and visit the island of Kitava, where the Kitavans eat a traditional diet and they rely heavily on tubers. Tubers such as yams, sweet potatoes, and taro. They also eat lots of tropical fruit like bananas, guava, watermelon, pineapple, these really sweet, delicious fruits. They also love coconut and fish. So their traditional diet seems to be primarily plant-based. Let's also check with the Okinawans. The Okinawans traditional diet consisted also of a lot of tubers like sweet potatoes. They also ate lots of vegetables and their diet was less than 5% from animal products, including fish and occasionally they would slaughter a pig for holidays. So these are two examples of populations who have very low rates of heart disease, diabetes, stroke, hypertension, and these modern Western, Western killers. Another important note is that they were living outdoors a lot more, so that means more sun exposure and perhaps even more exposure to beneficial bacteria in the environment to assist with the healthy population of their microbiome. There we have it, our ancestors, some ate lots of meat, some seemed to eat more vegetables and be more plant-based, but most likely it was probably a combination of the two depending on what part of the world they lived in and what foods were available. Our ancestors were just trying to survive you guys and so they ate pretty much whatever they could get their hands on. It does appear though through the archaeological record that people that had more fat consumption, especially animal fat consumption, had more arterial plaque. So there you have it guys. What diet do you guys follow? Are you interested in taking any in nutritional advice from our ancient ancestors? Please comment below. If you're into this sort of content, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I will have more diet related information as well as archaeology related videos in the future. Thanks a lot. Take care.